everybody welcome back surprise here with another episode of surprise radio today i'm joined by michaela of falling through april hello thank you so much for joining me happy to be here good to see you you too unfortunately i didn't get to see you on your texas tour and i felt so terrible about that y'all finally came to texas and every date was one that i couldn't make it to so i'll definitely uh, feel the need to make my way your direction next time since you came here this last time. oh no i'm sure we'll be back we had a great time in every state we have to come back like i want to do the same tour again <laughs> very cool so how long have you been in falling through april since 2018-ish? No. 2019? Wait, my goodness. About five, five or six years. Okay. And I thought that, because I thought Seven Tries was like almost 10 years old by now. Say it ain't so. Are we at eight? I probably stopped counting at five. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and especially with like 2020, like time froze for like it two did. years. It fair. did. That, that's we don't fair. count two years. <laughs> That's very fair. We don't count them, but unfortunately, time does. That's what keeps getting us. You know, right? Um, yeah, Seven Tries is one my um first with falling through April. So mm -hmm. very old. So, do you have a favorite song to sing, or or um, and maybe it might be your favorite song to sing, but there might be another one that you really enjoy playing because of the live atmosphere or anything like that. Um, our newest single worlds away. It's been, it took about some time for us to finally release it. So now I can talk about it. Um, but yes, I love, I love singing soccer. Like I love screaming on stage and I'm just like really belting it out. But I just, I really also like, you know, I started off on an acoustic and like, you know, softly singing. So to do that again, and like serenade with some ballads, um, is my favorite thing to do, but with worlds away, it's a perfect mix of both. Yeah, I absolutely love that it is a good mix of both, and I and I like your sound when you when you sing more cleanly. I mean, you you've got the voice to do whatever you want, but I've always really liked y'all's sound, and and that was a part of it was your voice. So, do you have Yay. a hero or influence that that really made you want to get into doing this? Um, musically, I mean, I just love Steven Tyler and everything he just is about with just who he is in the scene, his sound, his style, just that expression. He really got me into um, just wanting to be a, a writer, a singer. Um, but then when it came down to it, I was probably, you know, mostly influenced by like Under Oath and um, Blindside was like, I'm like, I need to write music. I need to be in a rock band. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Very cool. I actually, my first concert was seeing Aerosmith, so. <gasps> Epic. <laughs> yeah, my mom my mom was pretty cool. She took me to see Aerosmith for the uh what was it? 95 uh Living on the Edge tour. That's what it was. Collective Soul opened for him. Yeah, I got a little dude and I took his his first concert was Paramore. He had a crush on Haley. <laughs> oh, cool. I, I took my son to his first concert this year. I took him to see Eva Under Fire. That's so dope. Fun stuff. We got to pass down the love. Absolutely, absolutely. So do you have any side projects that you'd like to do? Uh, not side projects. I'm sorry. That's the wrong word. Um, TV shows, stuff that you'd like to do outside of music, TV shows, movies, books, stuff like that. I know that you made a a, a video where you took a, you, you played on the wording of the chorus where you're playing games. Are y'all gamers? Um, I'm terrible at games. I do love Mario Kart for sure. Um, let's see. I do binge watch on some Netflix. You guys should check out Glow. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, other than that, I mean, I love being outdoors. Like, I, I need to sometimes just, like, explore um, lake or river, bike ride. That's kind of my thing. Do you have any mic brand preferences or dream sponsors with, with a mic or, or any of the guys have any sponsors or dream sponsors? I know I want these fancy in ears, um, but with mic wise, not quite yet. I haven't yeah. done my own research yet. So, do you have any uh, side projects? I know that Jerome is in more than one band. I don't know if anybody else is. Um, I have can say like I have friends who want me to feature on some of their like more like EDM tracks and stuff like that. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm always down. I'm a lot of collaborations in the works of just other local artists, um, where other females, where we want to be like, let's do a duet. Let's do like, you know, headbanger. So, um, I'm working on, yes, getting more connected and expanding my genre, but yeah, like we talked about singing softly and it's so pretty and stuff like that. I just, I love it. Um, and so I'd like to lean more towards the acoustics or poppiness. Um, to express that side but whatever I do get I um, I'll totally share nice and do you have any anything coming soon that you can that you can tease yet or maybe the video for worlds away is it coming soon oh I wish we could get busy with that one but in March you know we are um we have two of our members in Florida as you guys may know in Tampa now I'm trying to get my way over there too I love North Carolina. I don't want to leave, but weather in Tampa. So we also, we have a show going on um, in Florida in March that we have posted on the socials. So if anyone's over there, check that out. I'm sure we're going to plan a little weekender um, mini, mini tour around that time too. But that's pretty much it for now. I did mean to actually ask you about that and I skipped that question. I'm sorry. So it's just two of you that have moved to Tampa. Is, is there a plan for everybody too, or you're just kind of talking about it for now? Uh, talking about it. I mean, I'm apartment hunting right now, so I'm kind of oh, okay. making. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I'm sure North Carolina is going to hate to see you go, but but you know, Florida is not far. Florida is not far. Right. You can always go no. back and and do something. So That's the best part, yeah. Do you have <laughs> any covers that you would like to do, or that you do live, but you haven't recorded yet, or anything like that? Well, I love my Katy Perry. Ooh, how crazy and talented she is. Um, so we do ET cover every now and then live. Um, but yeah, I just, I love anything Katy Perry. I want to do Harley's in Hawaii, if anyone knows that one. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Uh, so the the show that you're talking about, uh, who who are you opening for? Good boy. Honestly, homie. I'm going to have to Facebook that. <laughs> I am the worst with facts. Like you guys really need to talk to Dan. <laughs> so, so Power Man Five Thousand. I'm just right? here, and they tell me when to jump on stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's um like three other really, really, really awesome. Yeah, uh, there's this really bands, awesome band that I'm you're really playing excited. with. Uh, they're called Lydia Can't Breathe. Um, their bass player is one of the coolest dudes you'll ever meet. Yeah, yeah. My friends, my bandmates are real close with them, so I'm really excited to finally meet them. Do you have a favorite tour that you've done or maybe just a venue to play in? I cannot get enough of the time we spent with Theory of a Dead Man going through Canada. It was the best experience. Um, so, yeah, that one's always on my mind. There were some really good guys, really good stories came out of it. Um, and, of course, the site's totally worth seeing, guys. Do it. Do you have a favorite uh, site? from your Canadian tour in Canada? Um, I really loved Ottawa. Just the, it just felt so like Victorian, just the history behind it. Of course, like going through like the French quarters is just, I, I really felt like was, we're just traveling like a whole world and we're only like a state away from um, home. So it was really, really awesome. It felt like time traveling, but Ottawa for sure. Really? Yeah, it's beautiful. And the people there, so I mean, Canadians are held to their reputation. They are so nice, so nice. Theory and their whole team—they just treated us so well for being babies on the road and stuff like that. It really looked out. It was really cool. Very awesome. Do you have any dream tour mates that you would want to go on a tour with? Either they could be the headliner or just a a second opening act. Paris has always been a thing because my gosh, I would love to be like just hearing them live. I'd love to see them live. But um, and I hear also they're just good solid people i love and lights oh my gosh i must i must i must play with lights one day she is so cool brilliant so do you have any advice for anybody that that looks up to you or, or really just connects to your music uh, a harder rock with a softer singer that's it's it's a niche and and so there might be people out there that really ha look at you as as a hero do you have any advice for them to to get into the rock world to find who you are in it and not try and be anybody else. Just say what you want to say, dress how you want to dress. I mean, that's the whole rock and roll attitude. I've, it's been 
interesting kind of seeing myself because I've always seen myself as like an acoustic background player I mean I love writing songs so I love to you know record and give those copies to my friends but so being a front woman for a rock band has really been challenging for me but also it's helped me just grow and become more of like my true self so with others I would love to see that if they ever um, go towards this dream this goal that they are doing it for the right purposes I want to say because it is fulfilling music is so important and what you say and what you do it's so impactful and um, I just really hope that nobody lets any uh, confidence, lack of confidence, get in the way. Just do it. Who cares? You only got like, what? We got 60 years best in this life. Let's make it, you know, just in the big. So Falling Through April has had only one song released in probably about a year. Is everything okay? Do we have to worry about losing one of our favorite <laughs> bands? Or are we are we due for some new music coming soon? yes we have new music in the vault and it only gets prettier and cooler and i'm so excited because you know and then also man oh life man has given me so many things to write about so if i were to show you the notes app in my phone oh, we got plenty to work with <laughs> all right so don't so worry. we get to look forward to those posts on facebook when you're allowed to make them and things like that do you have anything else you want to shout out before we go um Check out my boys in Tampa. If you guys are there, Dan and Jim, they are just loving that life. I'm more over here in Charlotte, but you know what? Um, travel, guys. Travel. Take risks. Take chances. And we hope to see you on the road. Thank you, Michaela, so much for joining me, and I hope that you have a great time. Thank you. See you next time. See you then. Bye.